Hello, I am Theo from GeoTrencher. In the first part of the video, I will introduce you to the GeoTrencher and the card in detail and show you the assembly of the machine and the card. In the second part of the video, I will show you the practical use, give tips how to work with the GeoTrencher and safety instructions. Let's start! In the box you will find a set of digging chains. The operating instructions, the power head, the chain guard tube, the digging bar, and square parts. Before you start working with the GeoTrencher, please read the operating instructions of the GeoTrencher and drive motor carefully. In the instruction manual you will find all information for the safety handling of the GeoTrencher. Let's take a look at the GeoTrencher first. Here we have first the power head with the GeoTrencher holder. The holder and the drive sprocket with the retaining screws. Also the holder for the chain guard. The digging bar of the GeoTrencher is available in 400mm, 500mm and 700mm length. Here we have the 500mm bar. The bar consists the base body, the bar tip with the nose sprocket and the nose sprocket bracket. The bars can be used on both sides and should be rotated after each chain change. The 700mm bar also has a chain tensioner which can be upgraded to the 400 and 500mm bar. On the 400 and 500mm bars the nose sprocket has 6 T's, on the 700mm bar the nose sprocket has 11 T's. The bar tip is fixed with 3 Allen screws. If you want to change the tip, the nose sprocket or the bracket, please always secure the screws with locking varnish. In the replacement box you will find the replacement bearing and three Allen screws. With each new GeoTrencher you get two standard digging chains in the ordered length. 400, 500 or 700 mm. The standard digging chain has a wide of 38 mm. Furthermore, there are all chains in addition slim with 25 mm and in wide with 60 mm. The slim and standard chain always come in a double pack. The white chain comes single packed. The teeth of the chain looks like the teeth of a chainsaw and are mounted in the direction of rotation. The correct running direction is indicated on the label of the chain box. Unlike the chain saw chain, the teeth do not need to be resharpened. The teeth wear out when digging. We offer repair kits for all chains, with which you can extend the lifetime of a chain. Let's move on to the assembly of the machine. We start with the chain guard. I push the chain guard tube into the bracket and tighten it firmly with a screw. The length of the chain guard I can later still adapt to the digging bar. The chain assembly follows. Therefore I put the machine on its side 
and loosen the screws of the clamping plate. The bar is inserted into the holder and secured with a screw and the clamping plate. We push the bar all the way back towards the drive sprocket. Now we put the chain on. We pay attention to the chain running direction and place them around the nose sprocket and the drive sprocket. Now we push the bar forwards. and secure it with the second screw of the clamping plate. We do not tighten the screw of the clamping plate completely yet. We put the machine upright and can now, with the help of a screwdriver, control the chain tension. The chain should sag about 1 or 2 cm when mounted. Now we tighten the screws. and check the free rotation of the chain. Let's move on to the assembly of the geocard. In the box you will find the wheels The two part pull strap, the axle, and the two piece handle set. The handle set is plugged together using the pin and the round clip. With the different holes we adjust the handle length. Then I put the handle set on the mount on the axle. For this I use the linchpin with a square clip. Make sure that the grip bow point to the left. Now we remove the linch pins and the washers at the end of the axle. Slip the metal tabs at the end of the pull straps over the axle ends. Then comes the wheel, the washer and the linch pin. The same on the other side. The waist belt of the pull strap
is hooked onto the metal bucket of the pull strap. To mount the geo trencher on the geo card, I have to open the locking device. Then I guide the locking nose of the geo trencher into its designated bracket. And close the lock. The throttle latch is attached to the handle of the power head. The geo trencher makes digging easy. And with all engine driven machines, there are some safety instructions that must be followed to turn a simple job into a safe job. Before you start, read and understand the instruction manual of your geo trencher and your power head carefully and completely. The first safety rule is to understand how the geo trencher works. Before starting work, find out about the location of existing cables and pipes in the ground. Check with the owner or authorities. Plan your workplace, taking into account potential hazards and remove any obstacles in the work area. Plan which direction you will work in. The ejector side should point away from windows. Always work downhill. The wearing of safety equipment is mandatory when working with a geo trencher. These include protective goggles, hearing protection, safety gloves and boots with steel caps as well as tight fitting clothing. Before starting the machine, check if all screws are tightened. This includes the screws of the bar bracket and the screws of the drive sprocket and the three screws of the nose sprocket bracket and also check the chain tension you can find information about this in the geo trencher user manual before you start the machine make sure the chain is clear of obstacles the chain can spin as soon as you start the engine place your foot in the handle of the machine to fix it the bar must be free of obscurations in the air. You can find the specific startup routine of your powerhead in the powerhead user manual. When working without a geo card, keep the machine as low as possible above the ground and slowly drive into the ground. The biggest danger of a machine backlash is when diving into the ground. To reduce the risk of rockfall towards the user, dive as deep as possible into the ground with a digging bar. The proper use of the machine takes place behind it. Never stand above the machine. Otherwise, the chain may come into contact with your feet or your legs. The geo trencher is pulled through the ground. Let the machine do the work. Keep the engine speed at one half to three quarter throttle. A low speed of the chain reduce the wear of the chain. Never leave anyone in front of or next of the machine. This is where the danger of flying stones is greatest. Never allow anyone to be in that area. Children and animals should never be near a running machine. 
never point the machine at yourself or anyone else. The pollution of the chain can lead it into blocking. If you notice the chain blocking, turn off the engine. Then clean the machine from the foreign bodies or pollution. Check the chain for free running, also the drive sprocket and the nose sprocket bracket. The ejector should also always be cleaned out of dirt. If the chain is still blocked, remove and clean it completely. Use the geocard whenever possible. The geocard keeps the geotrenchor closer to the ground and further away from you. More information about the assembly of the geocard can be found in the geotrenchor user manual. Clean the geotrenchor after each use. The chain should be sprayed with a multifunction oil before storage. This prevents corrosion. Further maintenance instructions can be found in the user manual of the geotrencher and the power head. And now have fun working safely with the geotrencher.